All right. Hi, my name is Tommy Shadow, your local Adobe Director movie recovery expert. And we have a problem. So this is a Toonami Trapped in Hyperspace related video, which was a 3D Groove game developed by Petwork, Pepworks. And Patrick Thiel from Pepworks was so kind to send us this, Toon0.dcr, the file that supposedly contains the Trapped in Hyperspace game. So I have a projector here, let's give it a run. And... Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a problem. So, we get a log file, but this is just the same log file that every 3D Groove game makes. The Groove Extra is in here, so I'm doing this correctly, and it can run other Groove games, but it can't run this one. This one crashes. So, whatever could be the issue? Well, the first sign that something is wrong is the sound effects. Let's take a listen. Just click and drag them. So kindly goes through and finds all the sound effects for us. So let's just take a listen to some of them. Prepare. Uh, so yeah. Mostly just shooty shooty gun gun sounds, but there's one particular that looks wrong. This looks like it's getting cut off. Hmm, that doesn't sound complete. All these other ones have a nice silence after it, but this one doesn't. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at this in Hex Editor. And if I just go here, and I scroll up a bit until I find what I'm looking for... Uh, right here. Alright. Let's save that as Atomic SMD, because that actually is the name of the sound effect, is Atomic. That's the name of this cast member, which is a sound effect, and if we play it in Media Player Classic... Ah, uh, did you see that? This sound effect is supposed to be one and a half seconds long, but Media Player Classic is only playing half of it. In fact, there's only half of it to exist. There isn't enough data to go over here. So what this tells me is that this sound effect is broken. It's getting cut off in the middle. And if you remember, in our DCR file, if we just open that back up again, that was the very last thing in the file. I This is all the sound effect here, and I cut it off here. This is the last thing in the file, is this sound effect, and it gets cut off in the middle. So, looking... Now I've, now I've uh, opened this up in off zip, and I've toyed around with some of the stuff inside, but we can see here that here we have the um, after and before memory map. So basically the compressed version of memory map, which uses varants instead of normal D words. And we can see... So these are all four CCs here. If you aren't familiar with the DCR format, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but... These are all the, this is basically just a list of all the chunks, all the things that are supposed to be in the file. And we can see, here's a sound, and another sound, and another sound, and another sound. So there are all these sound effects in a row. So let's look for the last instance of a sound. Hmm. Well, this is supposedly what the last sound is supposed to be, but it's not the last thing in the file. We also have a, a cast association, um, a script collection, font, cast info, lingo names, uh, some of these I don't know what they do, but they're important to tying the movie together basically. Uh, any files, so some timeline related stuff down here, version number, so basically um, all this 
stuff beyond this sound. The sound is the last thing in the file because it gets cut off. And all this stuff down here is gone. It's not in the file. Um, so this file, this is only the beginning of a DCR file, which is why it crashes, but there's a bit of a bigger concern yet because this game is five levels. So you can see here, this is the Wayback Machine's copy of this game, and it doesn't, you can see it has tune.dcr, which is just a loader, but it doesn't have tune0.dcr for any of them. We were given one tune0.dcr, and Patrick Thiel said it might be a beta. Now I'm very thankful that he was willing to give this out, but at the same time, uh, we can see in here that there are supposed to be five of these. There's five tune zeros. So which one is this one? And is it the first one? Is it the training? That'd probably make the most sense, right? But we can't tell because we can't run it. Now, we can actually inspect a bit further in here. For example, we have some SWF files from in here. Some more interesting than others. Right, so this one, this is the start screen, uh, and this, that's the loading screen. Ah, uh, okay, so this is interesting because it actually mentions Sarah, so it says mission, find Sarah OS key cards in return. So we know that's part of the game, but, um, that's the only mention of anything really Toonami related in here, as far as I can find. Now this one's cool. This is actually the map of the stage. Let's make that nice and big. So we can see it's split into three parts, a blue part, a red part, and a green part, and that is the map for the level. Kind of cool, but would still be nice to actually play on it. And <laughs> yeah, for some reason there's a picture of Mario in here. Uh, I I was told the game was sponsored by Super Mario Sunshine, but I'm pretty sure that this wasn't in the final game. But they have a picture of Mario in here saying, be careful that enemy virus might hide everywhere. And we have pause menu. And anything else that I'm forgetting? No, so that's all there is in the way of Flash movies in here. Those are the only Flash movies, and I've checked them thoroughly, but there's no mention of Swayzak or anything really anywhere. Um, there are also a bunch of model files. I'll get into those in a bit, but for now I want to talk about um, Director. So, we can actually, let's take this Tune 0 file and put it into Dur Opener. And let's see. This is my custom version of Dur Opener that uses Shockwave 10. And we can see here that it produces an output. But it gave us an error saying that uh, cast 127 atomic is broken. Hmm. So let's call that tune0.dur. Let's go back here. Let's copy that into my documents. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to copy the DCR, I meant to copy the dir. So let's just wait for that to load. Um, okay, copy that in my documents, close that. Uh, so yeah, So I don't have a developer version of Groove, so we'll get this error. But you can see there's actually a lot of stuff in here, and it is in fact Toonami trapped in hyperspace, and it is in fact a beta, because it says loading tune beta. So it's a, it's a beta, for sure. But if we scroll down, we can see Atomic is broken. It has a length of zero, it's zero kilohertz rate, it's zero bits and stereo, because that must be default, and there's no sound from it. So this is actually the sound that we found earlier. 
And evidently, Director doesn't like the fact that this sound isn't the length it's supposed to be, so it's broken. Oh dear. Now I tried substituting the sound in here and saving it, but then I just get an error message uh, trying to play it. So instead of crashing, it just errors out, um, saying that it's missing cast members. So basically, there are scripts missing from here that are absolutely needed for the game to work. And yeah, that's a kind of a big problem. So f from this, I can infer that this is probably the training mission because there doesn't, if you look here, there doesn't seem to be any mention of Swayzak. There's a boss, but you'll notice that the boss, if I can find the conversion of it, I actually converted it, and it is not Swayzak. It looks like this. This is the boss that's in here. Really cool looking robot, but I'd like to be able to battle against it. So, basically this doesn't help for anything. Um, because the game is incomplete. So because we're missing the end of that file, the, the game isn't working, and we can only get a glimpse of what it would have been like. And you can see, like, there are other, like, you can see there are levels in here. There's Z fighting. I think that this isn't quite right because of my 3D model converter, but there are 3D models in here. Uh, so there's a level, and... We can't... My guess as to what happened is that Patrick Thiel, he probably had this on a backup server. He probably had this DCR file here on a backup server. And he probably downloaded it using something like Google Chrome. And the download was slow, so partway through, Chrome just gave up and stopped downloading it. Because that happened to me all the time when I use Chrome. And... Um... And, uh, also, there should be more than this. There should be five different levels of this. This shouldn't be the only one. Uh, so yeah, I am thankful that Patrick Thiel was willing to give this out. Um, it was like, it's a better I getting a better idea of what it was like than before, but it still would be nice to actually be able to play it. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom of this, you can see where there's normally credits, all we get is pep rules, and the location of the file on the original machine it was created on, which isn't very helpful, because we can't access that. Although, this did teach me that Pepsi is actually a folder that belongs to the Pepworks. You would think that I would have made that co uh, connection, but I never realized that. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, this isn't very helpful. It's an incomplete file, and as such, it can't be played, and we can only get an idea of what's in store. But, I am happy that Patrick Thiel uh, I, I hope I am saying that right, because I've said it multiple times now. Um, was willing to give this out, even if it wasn't uh, complete. So thank you. But if you do still have the complete file, and you can check that it's the same file size when it downloads, and, and you can use a, a download manager, like Free Download Manager, to, to make sure the whole thing downloads, or, or if you copied it, somehow it didn't copy all the way, please check that because this isn't the complete game and without the end of it it just crashes which isn't very useful anyway I think I've covered everything I want to cover here I've gone 
pretty in depth into the file here, uh, the, the everything that's in it and the, the format. Most of these three models are just hallways, which is why I'm not showing them off. Um, but yeah, so it'd be nice if we could have the full game, but I'm at least happy that we have this much. I just wish it was playable. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.